Hello everybody, welcome back to Simulated Heaven. I'd like to very quickly apologise first and say I didn't have any videos for a few days. Unfortunately I got slightly sick again, mainly my voice, so I couldn't really talk very well. Um, so that's why I haven't had any videos, but I should be okay now. I might not be able to have a video every day like I very often can, but I'm going to obviously hope to be able to get quite a few videos back on the go. Um, as you can see, I am playing this game, Banished. Now, this has been an uber popular game, and I, over the weekend, while I was feeling slightly sick, had a good opportunity to play this game, and it's really fitted in very well, because as you guys may have noticed with my channel, I've been on a bit of a management game buzz, if you know what I mean. Anyway, I thought I would basically... Um, take you guys through my first two villages in this game to kind of go through what I've learned so far because this game is kind of hard and it's kind of like every time that I I play a game like every time that I have a village I learn more things I've only had a couple of villages but I thought it might be interesting if I tried to talk you guys through the errors that I have made so that maybe that will help you in future. So this first one here, this is the first village that I started when I first played the game. Um, now as you can see right now it's completely dead, like totally dead. Um, yeah, I made the fatal error here of somehow I did not have any kids. I didn't realize this, I suddenly realized I have hardly any kids and loads of old people and then it just kind of died out. Now what were the errors that I believe I made in this one? Now one of the basic errors that I I made in this one is I tried to expand too fast. So I tried to build everything up way too fast um, because at the beginning of the game, I mean actually this game I started on medium so I believe that's why you can see I have a barn you can't actually see it very well right now sorry about that but I do have a barn in there a, a storage barn so that was because I started it on medium because it was my first ever game in here um, and I thought it was going really well but obviously it was not because I didn't have any kids but yeah and something weird happened my storage barn I was really careful to make sure my storage barn was never 100% full and then I realized you can't see very easily right now but you might better see a little bit there's all this like food and everything outside the storage barn as if it you know couldn't be stored in here which I find kind of weird because um, yeah I always have this open and I always am very careful that I don't go 100% um, on the storage bar. One of the things I do really like about this game, obviously right now my town is kind of dead obviously, but one of the things I do kind of like is that the town will just keep going. And look, there's food over here, I have no idea why all this food is lying about. But yeah, um, the, the game will just keep going and keep going. It doesn't flash up and say, there are no more people in your village. The game has ended. No, it doesn't really do that, which I actually think is really cool. So yeah, so um, the error, the major error, I mean, that I made, really, obviously the basic one is with the, the lack of babies. And I, well, I mean, I did... I tried to grow too far, I tried to expand everything too fast and it was kind of a boom and bust kind of situation. Um, I thought I had made enough houses, I made look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I did make eight houses, so I think when I made those houses, I, I kind of assumed that everything was going to be okay on the baby front, but I would say in this game just don't assume anything. Um, yeah, because the baby certainly did dry up. Now, what other things did I do wrong? <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me.
excuse me, like I said, I have been sick. Um, I did some other things wrong. I did. I made a boarding house. Now, I learned that the boarding house is only really good, I think, at the beginning. Because I thought this would be like overflows, you know, and I actually built this after I had built quite a lot of these houses. Um, and actually, obviously, this was empty, so it's so it, it was a waste. I somehow thought it would be overflow that people would go there if a house here was overcrowded, but that didn't really work. They would rather be in the houses here rather than uh, be here in the boarding house. So this was basically a waste of resources. It was empty um, it, during this this game, which was not very good, really, was it? Um, now, what else did I do wrong? Well, I did something wrong here because I made a pasture. And I'm going to slow the game down because there's no real point me having it so fast, you know, because obviously the game is over. Um, but yeah, I, I made a pasture and I didn't understand how it works. And I think I've worked out that you can only get the animals in here when you have a market so this is my market and I believe that I have to trade them through the market somehow I'm not entirely sure how that works if any of you guys out there know about this I would really appreciate it if you let me know also I don't really know how you get like for example the whole idea of the market is to trade stuff that you need so um, yeah I don't really know how that works exactly uh, well, I, I obviously know that there there will be people that will come here on boats and you can trade with them, but I don't know how you get the, the, that stuff that you trade with them into your storage area. I mean, is that going to happen automatically? I don't really know. Now, as you can see, I like I said, I tried to ex expand too far. So I had two blacksmith here. Whoops. And I had two woodcutters and I was just yeah trying to go at it too fast and I kind of it didn't really work out and um, the other thing that I found was I don't know I found that the the forester lodge did not work very well in that it I kept using up all of the logs or the logs didn't seem to be that much and I always had to get well I found that I had to select resources myself in terms of trees right um, which I kind of thought with because I had four guys in here so I thought hey surely that is going to mean that um, that it will provide enough logs and things like that that didn't really work out so during this game quite often I'd have to manually um, select a lot of trees that I would like it to cut down so I kind of learned the forest to lodge mm, for some reason was not working very well but I obviously have to try that again in other games um, I have a fishing lodge here it worked really well that was a really good part of the game I had a mar uh, yeah I had a trading post and a market I think I maybe made those a bit too early I think I should have really focused on all of the main stuff first before I, I made these um, I made a, a hospital but the feeling I had with the hospital is it was quite often empty I mean it didn't get used that much so I was not that impressed with that really and I kind of thought the herbalist I think I did have a herbalist in this game I can't remember if I did have a herbalist but it seems that herbalists are, are more efficient it seems than the hospital you know I don't know I mean I suppose in the I ideal world you would have both but I kind of thought that the herbalist worked a lot better than the hospital I thought anyway so that was one thing I did learn I think 
I also learn, or it, it kind of a, appeared that farming is a really good way of making a lot of food very, very quickly. So there were times in the game when my food was running slightly low and it was quite easy for me to set up various crop and orchard fields that it didn't really take that long for you to start actually making food and it was very low maintenance so during this game I kind of decided that this kind of farming is a good way of bulking up your food. Now I made one, well, I made one quite large error in this game. I decided to go for a quarry. Now my way of thinking was that I was going to be making quite a lot of buildings, I was going to be using quite a lot of stone, so I thought, hey, why don't I have a quarry? And that should be providing a lot of the stone that I will need. Now, I found kind of in, in a similar way as the, the forester, I found that the quarry, in the end, it didn't really provide enough stone. I think the most amount of people I could afford to have in here was 6 out of 15. So it would appear for this to really work enough, you kind of need lots of population so that you can have them in here. So I kind of learned from this game not to have a quarry until you have quite a lot of population for that. Now one thing I did learn was obviously the, gathered, uh, the, the gatherer's hut even and the uh, the hunting I obviously try to have them away from the main area um, because then obviously they're more likely to catch and gather more stuff so I had up here and I also had over here you see so that was oh I did have a herbalist so this one is a herbalist so yeah so I did find that was quite a good way of setting that up so all in all I think it was a good game but I made a few errors it was my first game and also I obviously um, made an error that I didn't pay attention to the babies I mean because I did have babies but it turned out I didn't have enough so in the end lots of people died out I only had a couple of babies and I believe in the end quite a lot of people died from being frozen as you can see from the event log. I was having a real issue with getting, I mean this is why I have two woodcutters, I don't know for some reason I was not being able to make enough wood, you know, but to keep them warm. So yeah, it was a bit of a disaster, I did learn a lot from this game, I really enjoyed it. Um, I think I must have spent a good four hours at least on this on this village. Anyway, now let's move on to the second one. So if I go to load, and I believe this is the, the latest one, the second one. Oh, hang on. Did that just auto save now? Yes, it did. So I believe this one is the, the second one, hopefully. Vernon Burst. Okay, let's load that. Yeah. Right, so hopefully this will be the second village that I made. Now, I was really, really careful with this village. I was really, really careful. And, oh, hang on. What is going on here? So, somehow, okay, let's pause the game. Okay, this is kind of strange. Yeah, I think this is right near the end. So, yeah, oh, um... I have 16 population. I thought that I had a save game from when everyone had already died out, but I think for some reason the save has um, reverted to just before everyone starts to die out. And I was very, very careful with this one. I planned it out. I was really happy with the way that I made this one, this uh, this village, but I did the same thing again. I had a, I did something fatally wrong again in that 
I didn't have enough babies. In fact, I have no babies. And look, everyone here is old. There's no one here who's able to make a baby. And I started making houses down here. And look, everyone is old. It's way too late. So I did the exact same thing. So I was kind of annoyed with myself that I allowed the same thing to happen again. However, I learned a lot and I believe I improved my strategy for the game. Now, as you can see, I did start placing things in advance and then obviously leaving it there paused so that I would be able to go back to it later. So I believe I got slightly better at the whole planning aspect. Now, one thing I was really, really happy with in this uh, in this game was I kind of had the idea. This was a really interesting idea. I had the idea to have the the gatherer's hut and uh, the forester lodge, and I believe also over here the herbalist. I believe I have a herbalist here as well. Yeah, so I have the gatherer's hut and I have a forester lodge and a herbalist I have one here and I have one here now the reasoning for that is I had these so that they would what well, I only had a single guy in each of these and they were basically planting because like I said in the first village I found that I didn't really get enough wood from the forester lodge so I kind of decided in this game that I would basically manually select the trees I would like to chop down and then I decided that I would have these here and they would be planting only with only a guy in just to make sure that the gatherer's hut and the, um, the herbalist over here basically have enough trees around because I, I was finding in in the other game that because I was using quite a lot of trees I would gradually work further and further into this area where the gatherer's hut is and in the end you'd end up with a gatherer's hut which doesn't have enough trees around it so by doing this you guarantee at all times that the gatherer's hut and the herbalist will have enough trees around them to actively or you know that to have enough um like things around them that they can actually gather from or pick so i was really happy with that i had one here set up and one over this side so I thought that worked really well and I was incredibly happy with how that worked um, I kind of decided to spread out a little bit more in this um, so my idea was to have like the market I believe no the market was going to be somewhere here look so I was going to have like this was going to be the main area and then here was going to be the market here was going to be the trading post as you can see there's the fishing here so I'd kind of laid it out very very very, very carefully and my, uh, and my idea eventually was to start building up this area as the area where all of the housing like the residential area here now um, one of the major things that I learned from this game which I think I'm going to do almost every time that I start a game there's not really anything else exciting over here I made a cemetery I thought it's a good place for me to put it because as you can see there's a little bit of a hill here there's a little bit of a lip so it's not obvious for you that to see the cemetery from the town um, I made a church in this one just because I thought it would help with the happiness and things like that I originally I was gonna try to make a pub or a tavern but that didn't work out because I didn't have well I was also really gonna do the whole farming again but I found out that I couldn't do farming because I didn't have any seeds because I started this game on hard and as you can see when you start on hard you only start with a storage cart with a few things in it and it doesn't give you any of the seeds for you to plant so I couldn't do farming in this game um, yeah and I didn't have any um, 
seeds or anything like that for me to do that so yeah um, so I couldn't really do a tavern because I couldn't farm the items that I needed for the beer or the alcohol of course when I got all the trading working I could have then traded the items I needed but that was a way off so that's why I had a church and I didn't have a tavern so obviously this was going to be a very highly religious um, village <laughs> now one now I before I talk about what I think was my best thing in this game over here there's just a hunting lodge so that was really good that it was in the middle of nowhere and it did work quite well but that isn't that exciting but I would say that I was really really careful with how I built up this town I built it up slowly so as you can see oh and yeah that's another thing I should talk about but I built up slowly I, I had the essentials the tailor the black smith and things like that oh yeah I had the tavern waiting there as you can see um, I also apart from building up slowly I was building up slowly but I was trying to make sure I had lots of resources so I kind of um, stockpiled a lot of resources so that when I did decide to start expanding and making more buildings and everything that I would have enough material I thought it was a good idea now one of the first buildings that I actually made was a schoolhouse because I think because I did have a schoolhouse in the first village but basically I think I started it way too late and people were not really educated and I think they were very inefficient so one of the first things I had was a schoolhouse and all of the babies that I had they all went through the whole schoolhouse thing now I believe that that will make them more efficient and things like that which I think is really important because like especially when you are building up in this way very very gradually in a, a calculated way it really helps you that you have um, an educated population that will be a bit more efficient so yeah that was my line of thinking and I would say there's one more thing I'd like to talk about and that is the fact that when I actually started off the village I didn't have any of these houses down here these were actually near near the end of the game that I started adding these houses now the reason that I did that was because I've I used the boarding house now the boarding house worked really well but I think the timing of me m moving from the boarding house to these houses here was a bit too late now why did I opt for a boarding house now I kind of had a way of thinking that when I first start a village I would like to focus most of the building work or attention on the essential things like the schoolhouse, the tailor, the blacksmith, the essential things that you really need. I kind of wanted to concentrate on all of that first before I moved on to housing. So that's why I made a boarding house that has lots of room. Everyone was in there for quite a while. Now lots of people they will they will say oh well isn't that affecting the amount of babies that you have now near the start of the game I would say the first quarter of the game at least actually there were there were quite a lot of babies who were born there was not an issue with babies at the very very beginning but clearly if you leave it for too long it doesn't work out and the babies will stop so that's why I say I think it's a really good idea to start off with this so that you can focus on more important buildings first but I think then I need to remember to start these houses faster sooner but the whole idea the concept of what I I did I'm very happy with and I think I will do that every time I start a village in this game I'll start with a boarding house I'll start with the essentials I'll slowly build it up and then I'll start adding the houses now another thing I, that I had decided is I would use stone houses I thought then I you know because I have a boarding house 
I can gradually build up these houses, but I can make sure every house that I make is a quality stone house that will keep them warmer and things like that. I kind of felt in the first game, the first village, that the wooden houses weren't very very inefficient they weren't very good lots of people were getting very cold in the winter so I kind of went for this now one other thing I thought was really good about using the boarding house is at the at the beginning of the game when resources are very very tight because you only have one big house I felt that the amount of firewood that I was using in this game was a lot lower than in the first game. If you can remember when I was talking about the first game, I was talking about how I was really struggling with producing enough firewood I, and I actually had a couple of woodcutter things there. Um, when I had the boarding house I did not have that issue. I had lots of wood, lots of firewood because I believe because there was a lot less being used because rather than having five or six houses all with their own fires you've got this one big boarding house so yeah so that was why I did opt for that but like I said I think I just was a bit slow on the uptake with getting these houses so I was really really happy with this with that with the way that I've I thought everything out the way that I I built it up and I was very very happy so I was very frustrated, I would say, slight, you know, and upset with, with myself when, when actually all of this hard work went to waste because I completely, again, forgot about the babies. Actually, when I realised about the babies, it was already way too late. So there you go, guys. I mean, I, I am not an expert on this game. I, I realise this video has ended up qu quite long, and I apologise if it's quite boring for some of you but I think if you're interested in this game hopefully you're also interested in hearing um, the ideas I've had and the things I've worked through so far in the game because like I said at the beginning of this video I feel like this game you learn so much every time you do a village even if a village in the end dies off then usually you've learn um, at least a couple of things that you can actually take in, into the, the next village. Now actually, um, I think I put about four hours into this village. Altogether, I believe I've got about nine or ten hours in the game. I'm really enjoying it, but after having this village that failed, I believe at the end of the weekend, then I kind of had to have a couple of days off from the game because I kind of burnt out. I'd kind of done so many hours I've worked really hard I'd had a couple of failed villages and I kind of felt as if I had to walk away from the game for a few days but I will obviously get back into it I'm kind of thinking I might do a let's play series where I start up a town and I actually go through it all with all of you guys individually you know go through the process but we'll kind of see how that goes but anyway I thought this video would be interesting for you guys to hear what I have gone through and of course if you have been playing this game a lot and if you got any advice or if, if you can see anything that I've done incredibly wrong I would really like to hear from you guys. I apologize this video has ended up being quite long I've maybe rambled a little bit too much but thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.